what inspired this project are these spacers for the supercharger bracket because they are aluminum, aluminum tube. And for my idler pulleys, I've got them standing off about an inch from the surface and I actually need them to be about half an inch. So cutting a half an inch tube with the bandsaw as it is right now is just a scary thing because my finger will be about that close. So what I want to be able to do is clamp back here on the fence with a clamp as I push towards the blade. And then as I push towards the blade, I just leave my overhang about a half inch. So I might be able to set that with the fence or I'll just mark it. Either way is fine, but I'll be able to cut little pieces off with the bandsaw that way, not mar them too much. So the uh, glue is mostly dry here. So I'm gonna sink a couple screws in this just to make sure it's all secure and we'll be good to go for the fence. There she is. So there are a number of ways to do this fence. Now that I've got the slider in place, I can mount the fence against here, which should be pretty square because I did it in my table saw. Not perfect, but good enough for what I want. The issue is that if, I, if it's not perfectly square, if I want to square it up, I'll have to run it against the cut of here, of the bandsaw. And if it's out of square at all, I'll need to shim. <coughs> which is frankly a pain in the ass and a waste of time. The other way to do it is to screw it in place here, cut it off on the bandsaw, and then the way to square it up is to pivot it. So I can do that right now. I can drive one screw into it here, and then maybe a second one here, run it through the bandsaw, cut it, and uh, see whether or not she's square enough. And if she's square enough, we're good. Again, I'm not making this an ultra precise Crosscut sled. I just want to be able to get a rough cut on things. A lot of times what I end up doing after I go through the bandsaw is I put it on my sander and I kind of correct out some things. All right, so we'll put that in there. Let's see whether or not we're square. That's pretty freaking good. According to this right angle anyway, it's right on. So again, I'm not cutting large panels, I'm cutting little pieces. So getting it absolutely perfect, at least for what I wanna do in the near term, I think that's good enough for me. All right, so we're gonna test her out. I've got, I'm gonna cut these little half inch spacers on here. Again, not trying to be super precise. Just gonna see how this crosscut sled works. So one thing I'm noticing already is I actually have to increase my blade guard height a little bit um, to clear the fence if I want to go all the way through. This is pretty great. There's no way I was able to do that before, so I just made a tool that works. Yay, thanks. So my runner is this piece of oak, and I have put triple thick polyurethane all on the bottom to make it slide a little better. And uh, it seems a little cheesy, but I actually shimmed this just a little bit with paper and then shellacked it right in there. It actually gives me a nice fit on the bandsaw. The edge is cut down here. This allows me to slip that edge underneath the bandsaw blade guard. But I so far have opted not to cut all the way through. I just come right up to the fence. So I still have a little overhang here for whatever pieces I cut off. I could just cut it all the way off. And then this would just be a cutoff sled. I did a couple other little things. I don't know if you can see here, but I routed a chamfer along the inside of the fence so that dust or metal chips can get pushed out of the way. And then I also rounded the top over with a roundover bit. These screws are countersunk. I don't know if I captured it well enough in the beginning of the video, but I put the runner in the channel on the bandsaw first, set this down, squared it up, and then screwed these, well actually glued it first to let it dry, and then screwed it in place permanently. I think it's three pieces of wood, and everything was scrap.